Hey Internet, it's RJ. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning into the show today. Now, in today's episode, we have $200 up for grabs from an unlikely source, and that is State Employees Federal Credit Union of Maryland, believe it or not. So, you know, yes, it is in Maryland. Yes, it is a credit union, but don't worry. I qualified, and I live in Michigan, and I'm going to tell you how you can qualify all the same for this $200 and make a little bit of a charitable contribution in your name, of course, to help maybe offset some of all these gains from these bonuses. So, of course, typical fashion, we will cover the offer, the terms and conditions, requirements, eligibility, of course, that backdoor option to make this nationwide and everything else you need to know to make state employees credit unions $200 into your $200. So of course, that sounds interesting to you, then go ahead, press the subscribe button and let's get to work. Now, when it comes to it, this is the first time I've actually seen this offer, which is good because anytime you see a new offer, there's more money on the table. But what that really means is there's not a ton of crowdsourced data points just yet, but I will link to the doctor's post down below because that's where I found this offer. So credit where credit is due. And in addition to that, I would link directly to the offer as well. It is not a referral link, get you where you need to go the fastest. So with that, you know the order here. Let's take a look at the offer itself to start out. And you can see how happy this young lady is because she's going to get $200 when she opens a new checking account. But what does she need to do to get this $200 once the account is open? Well, I'm here to tell you and her if she doesn't know already. So requirements, so obviously open a total checking and rewards account. Um, you're going to need to direct deposit $500 within 90 days of opening the account. You are going to need to set up e-statements and this is going to be good through November 30th of this year. So you do have a little bit of time to jump on this, but overall, those are pretty easy requirements. Now, a few things to note here before we move on to eligibility. Number one, when you go to open this account, it's automatically going to open you the checking account as well. I think there's only one option, actually. And then there's also a membership shares, membership savings account as well, because again, this is a credit union. Credit unions are a little bit silly. You become a member by you know owning a share of it, and it's usually 5 or $10. In this case, it's $10. So when you open it, it's a $25 um, opening deposit to the checking, and I believe... $10, I think it was $10 to the membership shares account. You do that by play, linking your two accounts together, um, ACH, no credit card funding there. Now, of course, like you said, since this is a newer bonus, we don't necessarily have any data points on what counts and doesn't count as a direct deposit. So unfortunately, gonna kind of have to be the data point that you want to see. In addition to that, the e-statements, I checked my account after I signed it, but I believe I was already opted into e-statements. So, you know, that's, um, I would still double check it, but most banks these days do opt you in automatically to e-statements with some of these other credit unions, smaller credit unions, a little bit hit or miss. Other thing I'll say before we move on to eligibility is if you're going to set this one up, do it through Chrome or at least not Safari. Obviously, folks who know me know I like my Mac stuff a lot, but when I was doing it through Safari, um, which is Mac's native web browser, I had a ton of issues. It was very buggy. It wouldn't load correctly, this, that, and the other. So when I started doing it in Chrome, um, it worked fine with no issues. To this day, having been approved, I still can't really log in through Safari. Well, I guess I got approved. If you're watching this on Thursday, I think I opened it up this past weekend on Sunday night. So you know, just, uh, just a word there. Now, again, when you're going through the approval process, I will note this as well. There is a step that uh, they send you a link to scan your ID front and back, which is not uncommon. They also do ask for a selfie, which is always a little bit weird. It does happen on occasion. I did it. I know sometimes people are weird about that. They don't care for it, which is, again, totally understandable. I don't know why, why they need to go through that level of verification, but just so you know, that is something that they are likely going to ask you for. So with that, those are pretty much the requirements. Now let's take a look at eligibility because that's where the action is at, getting you know into a Maryland credit union from Michigan or wherever you're located at. So here we have it. We have eligibility. Um, existing members that joined SECU in Maryland prior to August 15th of this year or previously had a checking account or not eligible for this one. Gonna imagine that's not gonna trip up a ton of us. The interesting one here is the nationwide play, right? Again, it's in Maryland and credit unions are no more locally focused. However, if you make a donation to the SMCU Maryland Foundation, you can get in. Now, the donation is $10. I believe it comes out to $10.50 when you make it with a credit card, which I did. I'm working on a sign-up bonus, so you know any little bit helps chip away at that. So if there are other ways if you don't want to pay that extra ten, that extra fifty cents. So that makes it um, open up nationally, right? And I believe this uh, this donation should also be tax deductible as well. I don't know if they're going to send you a tax form or not, but you know just write it down wherever you keep it your keep track your tax information. So what's going to happen is you're going to go through the application process and it's going to ask you, you know. 
are you currently a member? You're going to say no. Then they're going to ask you how how or do you qualify for membership, right? Because again, credit union is very locally focused. Are you a friend or family member? Do you live in the area? And the last option is going to be make that donation. You click that link. It's going to open up in a separate window. And then you have the option to make that donation, plug in your credit card, your name, address, and stuff. Then I came back to the, the other page, the application page. I think I it's supposed to progress through naturally. I did this part in Safari, so I'm not sure if that's why it aired out, but I had to actually force refresh the page, and then I was good to go. But it should progress naturally again, just start in Chrome, like we said in the beginning. And then you should be good to go. Now, I've also read folks saying they got through without actually making the donation. You know, uh, you can try it if you want. Again, there are some comments in the doctor post that will be down below, folks who got around it. You know, for me, $10 seems fine. It's an arbitrage play. I'll spend $10 to make 200 any day of the week, so I don't really mind making the donation. But again, that is how you're going to get nationwide of eligibility. So once I did that, smooth sailing through the rest of the application. Again, just keep track of that because it could be, you know, tax tax deductible. So with that, when it comes to this fees and account closure, there are no account minimums or anything like that that I saw. And there is no early determination um, as well. So, you know, as soon as you get paid out, you could close it. I would still leave $5 over there until they pay the bonus outright. Technically, with credit unions, they usually don't close out your account because you have that membership shares of, in this case, $10 for the membership share. Um, you know, I think that's the opening deposit for that, that, that account. But I would still, you don't have to leave the $500 over there, but I leave five bucks, keep it open until they pay. Then if you want to close it out afterwards, there should be no issues with that. So really, that's everything you need to know about this weird SMCU uh, Maryland, Maryland account, believe it or not. So let's close this one out with a summary slide and here we have it again target target here sec secu i guess i messed that up a little bit ago but whatever it's fine um product checking and member savings they're the only options there aren't any other options to open when you go through the link 200 bucks nationwide with that donation requirements again direct deposit the 500 dollars for the 90 days make sure you're in e-statements no fees and you can shut it down whenever you want so overall, again, that is this bonus. It's a nice rare find where you can pick up one, a newer one, you know, to add to the, the stable of bonuses that we can keep churning. Again, I know the approval process with the picture is a little bit much, but again, I did it um, no problem so far. So anyways, guys, if you like this one, drop me a thumbs up down below. Of course, if you found it particularly interesting, consider subscribing to the channel. We're posting content just like this every week on how to make banks money become your money. Question for you guys, especially all you out-of-staters here, are you going to take advantage? Are you feeling in a generous mood? Do you like the good arbitrage play? Love to hear your thoughts on this one. I hope you're able to cash in on another easy 200 bucks. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this one. As always, thank you so much for watching. Talk to you very soon in the next one.